Hello, I am Mitesh Pradhan from LabVIEW Programming. In this video, we will learn how can we create a class in LabVIEW. So for that, open your LabVIEW, whatever the version you are using, LabVIEW 20, 17, 18, 19, 20, okay, come into the file section, right click, click on the create projects. So to create a class, we need to first create a project. When you will click on the create project, it will take few seconds, then this window will appear in front of your screen. Now click on the blank projects and hit the finish button. Now I will save this project. Come here, save. Here, I am going to create one more folder. Class. Inside, I will save it class project. Okay. Now, this project is present in my PC right now. Okay. You can see the file path C, user, nitesh, music, practice, class, and class projects. Now, right click in my computer, right click in your target device. Okay. Right click in the target device, come into the new, and click in the class. Click in the class. When you will click in the class, so you will get this window so now there is class name so i am going to set the class name new numeric class okay either i can set my class then hit the ok button now you can see my class class dot LV class. Okay, my class dot LV class. Now click here. You can see the class dot CTL file. Now customized file is present here. This is my LV class and this is that customized CTL file. Okay, if you will double click in the CTL file, so you will get this customized control VI. So uh, customized control platform. There is no any kind of the block diagram associated with this customized control class. Sorry, dot CTL file. Now, how can we add our some dynamic classes here? It is our class. Now, how can we add some dynamic class inside this? So for that, right click. You can click by the VI. Either you can click the VI, okay? VI from the dynamic dispatch template. So for the dynamic display template, we can double click. So it will open. Now, okay? Let's come into the block diagram. You will find all those things here. Let's go. Right click. Look at here. If I will try to connect this unbundle by name. So let's see what is present here. Okay. Now the element is not present inside this. No problem. Can we set uh, some concept here? Okay. Right. So we can add any kind of the controllers and uh, any kind of controls and indicators with this uh, in uh, in this uh, VI. So just save it. Okay, just try to save this one. Save all. Now, this is my numeric numeric class in my class. Numeric class, my class. Other, my numeric class. Okay. My numeric class dot vi. If I will right click here, and if I will take 
vi so i will get only this simple vi okay i will get this simple vi so in this simple vi look at here can i convert it into the dynamic class so what is the important things for the dynamic class let's see i'm going to close this one okay come into the front panel let's drag this my class here so it is present in the block diagram no so delete this one click on the my class dot ctl now it is present in the block diagram sorry just a second uh, front panel yes just a second it is a front panel if i will click if i will drag it my class so now you can see it is present in the block diagram let's again come into the front panel take my class this one right click you can change it into the indicators so you can say my class dot vi i can write the name in and i can put the name out out okay now we can take this error input and we can take this error output let's come into the block diagram now we can create case structure no error Okay. Error. If inside any error, right click. We can create constant. Okay. And for this one, we can take one error. Constant and merge error functions. Now in this way you can create your dynamic class, dynamic, okay, class vi, you can create your dynamic class vi, so it is, uh, we can save it, save, now if I will save, so my class, my on class. So this is a dynamically we had designed, we had created, okay, and it is we had created by the hard coded, by the hard coding. So now let's see again. Let's uh, again open this one. So now you can see this one is our front panel, and let's go to the block diagram. This is the block diagram, no error, and yes, error, okay, error and no error, both are same. In our condition, error and no error, both are the same, okay. So now close both. Let's see what is the difference in the statics. Okay, statics. Sorry, static displays class template. So this one is the static displays class template. So now come here and come into the block diagram. Okay, there is no difference. Okay, there is not any kind of difference in just. If you will look at the you know only front panel block diagram if you will uh, trying to differentiate with the front panel block diagram so you will not find any kind of the difference between the statics and uh, dynamic our va class but if you will open the dynamic and static both so you will get the basic difference in the connector pin look at here the connector pin here and this connector pins if you will and if you will open uh, both the static and dynamics okay uh, so you will not find any single difference with the block diagram element and other okay you will get the only single difference here in this connector pen 
So using this way, you can create your dynamic and statics and your hardcoded class, and you can create your own class for your uh, object-oriented programming and others. So thank you for watching this video. In the next video, I will discuss how can we uh, put uh, how can we put input and output, and how can we configure the class more effectively for our programming purpose. So thank you.